Am I the asshole for reporting my neighbor's dog to animal control? Update the neighbors reported this to our town's code enforcement office yesterday afternoon claiming the catio is an illegal structure. An official is coming to our house today to inspect it either this morning or early afternoon. If the catio is considered an illegal structure we will have to take it down. We agreed that if we do, we will meet with the city to discuss proper permits so that we can rebuild it. Our other neighbors are disgusted. The catio has been there for years with no issue. The parents of the little girl who got knocked down have also offered to help us pay, as with our other neighbors for any permits or construction fees which we have politely declined. We, me 41 female and 43 male, live at the end of a cul-de-sac. We have a cat who is 11 and we built him a catio off the side of the house where he hangs out and bird watches and suns himself. About six months ago, someone in the neighborhood started walking their dog on our street. At first we didn't know where they lived, but they live right off of our road and to the right. Anytime they walk the dog, he is off leash and as soon as he sees my cat he runs through our yard barking and trying to get into the catio. After the second time this happened we began to ask this person repeatedly to leash their dog and to keep him off of our yard. Their response was to demand we put our cat inside while they were walking the dog and gave us the times they normally walk him. We said that didn't work for us, and that they needed to keep a better eye on their animals. We have been keeping an eye on this person, and any time we see them coming up the road, we WFH, we make sure to keep a close eye. The dog is still not leashed, still tries to come after my cat and now they have stopped picking up after him when he poops. This includes our other neighbor's yards as well. Yesterday, we were all sitting outside and they came up the street again. The dog saw my cat on his catio and he ran straight for my house barking. In the process he knocked down a neighbor's child who was sitting on a lawn chair. This time we had enough and we told the person that we were calling animal control and we did. Animal control asked for copies of our video doorbell footage and we gave it to them. Not 15 minutes ago the person came up to my house screaming at me and calling me anus hole because not only are they being fined for the leash law violations, the dog is being quarantined to ensure that it is not dangerous. The person told me that the dog is her son's ESA for his autism and called me a monster for what we did. Am I the asshole for reporting the dog to animal control? Post update, thank you all for your comments. We truly appreciate them. And thank you for all of the education on the difference between an ESA and a service animal. We both feel very ignorant for not knowing the difference between the two. I did call animal control and inquired about the poor dog. Honestly I've been crying about it since I found out. The last thing we would ever want is to take away a child's pet from them. It's just sad. The dog is doing fine, he doesn't need anything and he is apparently very sweet. Just very hyper and very badly trained. The outlook is good though. He has been removed from his owners. Apparently we were not the only ones who complained about it. They said that he will quarantine for one week to test for aggression and illness and will go to a foster home. We have donated some money and said if the fosters need anything to please let us know and we are more than happy to pay any expense. The neighbors are furious with us. They have been camped outside all day with signs calling us bad neighbors and dog nappers. According to our neighbor across the street they have started a fundraiser for a new puppy and are going to the local media. The little girl who got knocked over on the chair is fine. She has a small scrape on her elbow but is not seriously injured or will risk any scarring. Mr. Kitty is also fine. He is currently sitting on the entertainment center staring at a chipmunk and contemplating life's mysteries. Not the asshole at all. And this right here illustrates the issues of equating an ESA with a service dog. ESAs have little to no requirements for training and are a potential hazard because their handlers are often idiots. This dog has repeatedly shown a lack of training and aggression. For its own sake hopefully the owners get theirs heads out of theirs asses and leash it. Not the asshole. 1. They haven't done anything to keep their dog off your property. 2. They aren't trying to stop him from chasing your cat. If it got to your cat who knows what could happen. 3. They aren't cleaning up after the dog when it goes on someone else's lawn which by itself could be a misdemeanor crime for, they didn't try to stop the dog after it knocked down a child. Again they are lucky that that's all that happened. The dog could have seriously hurt that kid 5. Edited, if this is a true ESA, then the owners seem to be taking advantage of having one. Just being an ESA does not give it a free pass on basic training. Giant not the asshole. The dog is a danger. It literally couldn't even control itself around a cat on private property to the point it hurt a child. The owner not picking up after the dog is also illegal, not to mention disgusting. If they can't take care of the dog, 
they shouldn't have it in the first place. Emotional support animals are a lot different from actual disability dogs. If they want an emotional support animal, they can get something low maintenance, or live without one. It is still a living creature. It still needs to be trained and looked after properly. It sure as hell isn't doing its job if it's hurting children. Not the asshole. Entitled people always call you the asshole when their entitlement is put in check. The neighbor could have avoided all this with a $10 dog leash. And following the law. Now the poor dog pays the price by being placed in quarantine because the owner is an entitled R. Call animal control every time this happens in the future, as well. That's the only way this lady is going to learn. Not 15 minutes ago the person came up to my house screaming at me and calling me anus hole because not only are they being fined for the leash law violations, the dog is being quarantined to ensure that it is not dangerous. The person told me that the dog is her son's ESA for his autism and called me a monster for what we did. Not the asshole. The owner of that dog is negligent. You have good reason to believe it's a threat to others. Side note, seeing eye dogs are usually well trained and certified. As a result they're often allowed on planes and such. Emotional support animals don't have the same system. This is just some dog. Not the asshole. If you don't want your dog quarantined, keep it on leash so it doesn't do stupid shit on other people's property. They demanded that you put your in-house pets up for their convenience. Flushed. Not the asshole at all. Not the asshole. You made a good call. Dog knocked over a child. Your catio is built on your property and dog keeps coming over, uninvited, and owners allow dog to leave its poops without cleaning up. They need to be more responsible for a pet, period. Not the asshole. They needed to leash their unruly mutt. I fucking hate arrogant and irresponsible dog owners. Requesting other people put away their own peaceful pets minding their business on their own property to avoid triggering their undisciplined, unleashed fleabag. How ridiculous. NTA at all. Service dogs should be well behaved and certainly would never go after anything. ESA have no training requirements and are typically just house pets people deem as their emotional support rather than anything actual. It sucks their kid has troubles, but they really should lease their dog if it cannot behave properly as a service dog should. Never mind what if it got hit by a car, actually attacked another animal and hurt or killed it. You are looking out for their safety as much as your own in my opinion. Sincerely, someone in the pet industry who is sick of people pulling the ESA card any time they can't do whatever they want. If the dog was truly an ESA, the dog would not chase other animals. Neighbor is just lying because they're too lazy to train their dog. Furthermore, who TF lets their dog off leash while walking in a neighborhood? How fucking stupid are they? You are not the asshole. Not the asshole, your cats are in an enclosed space in your yard, and this person has allowed their dog to run wild off leash. It is their responsibility to train the dog. Also I'm shocked an ESA would be that poorly behaved, knocking over small kids. What if knocked over the sun? Not the asshole. This why ESA should be required to have some basic training. Not the asshole. This person is a shitty and lazy dog owner. I doubt that the dog is an ESA and they tried guilt tripping you. Not the asshole. They are full of it. A dog that goes nuts like that is a very poor emotional support animal for someone on the autism spectrum. I have a kid on the spectrum. While she loves animals, she wants nothing to do with barking aggressive dogs. In fact that would bother her so much we probably couldn't have a dog like that. We do have a dog. It's just not aggressive and doesn't bark. Anyway I think they are just saying that to make you feel bad and look bad. Leash laws exist for a reason. I don't understand people who can't keep their animals, especially poorly behaved ones, on a leash. Not the asshole. If you have a dog you should have him on leash at all time. Especially if you have no control of him. Not the asshole. The owner of the dog has an obligation to keep the dog off of your property, as well as to have the dog leashed. The dog owner is also responsible for any damage that may have been caused to your catio. The dog owner is irresponsible and instead of owning up to it and correcting their behavior, they are trying to make you feel guilty for getting their dog taken away. Not the asshole at all. That person was given ample warnings. Not the asshole. What total bullshit. Service animals are trained and this dog isn't. Plus, this dog owner is an entitled R. Leash laws apply to all dogs and dog owners, no exceptions for fake service animals. Nope. They did stupid things and they're paying the stupid tax. Loose dogs are dangerous, as you've shown in your post. The owner is a jerk for not cleaning up the poop either. Dot. Not the asshole all the way. 
well, then, they should have done a better job of controlling their pooping on your property, barking, cat harassing dog, then, if it is so important to their kid. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Clearly, this dog owner is breaking the law. If the dog is truly necessary for her child's mental health, she shouldn't be so reckless as to allow it off the leash when it has a history of causing trouble. Not the asshole. I wish more people were like you. If bad dog owners experienced consequences for their negligence, perhaps there would be fewer badly behaved dogs. Not the asshole. He should have kept the dog on a leash. Being a dog owner requires something called responsibility, and he wasn't responsible on behalf of the dog's actions. Not the asshole. You have every right to expect your animal's safety on your personal property and that those who take their pets out alongside your property should be leashed or within quick control. This person was showing disgusting inconsideration for your animal and hers by not providing a leash or training. If this dog is truly an emotional support dog for her son, then training is crucial for the dog to be allowed to do his job. An out-of-control animal can certainly be loved, but cannot be doing anyone any services, especially for someone with sensory and social challenges. You've done a service for everyone by reporting this. Not the asshole. That dog is dangerous and someone could really be hurt. A fine from animal control is nothing compared to vet bills or medical bills if the dog injures your cat or a person. Not the asshole. If the dog was so important to them then they should have been responsible pet owners. They broke the law and they're terrible neighbors. This is not on you. I feel bad for the dog. It's not his fault that the owner didn't follow the laws and keep him under control. But that is not your fault, it is theirs. If that dog is a service animal, it is not well trained. I never want to question someone's disability, but that doesn't really add up. I walk my dog off leash but he stays next to me. The moment this dog entered your property, you became not the asshole. Nope, not the asshole. But I think you know that, you're just thrown after being yelled at. If the dog is such an important factor in this person's son's mental health, the responsibility to care for and keep the animal safe and able to function is doubly on them. Hopefully they'll figure that out moving forward. Not the asshole. Part of dog ownership is respect for the neighbors. A working dog of any sorts, like a ESA, doesn't get you a pass on this. Not the asshole. You tried to approach them calmly and they made a ridiculous demand that you should limit where your cat goes in your house. At the end of the day the catio is a part of your house. You gave them another warning and they still ignored and escalated to not picking up after the dog. I'd say you were in the right in every way, and the bullshit about it's being an ESA I would wager is a bit of a stretch. I would have bear sprayed it right in front of them. You don't know if the dog is violent when it's charging at you. And yes, I own multiple dogs and none of them act like that dog. It's the owner's fault. Not the asshole. You gave them a chance, they didn't take it. Not the asshole. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Not the asshole. The law, decent behavior, and responsible pet ownership are all on your side here. The ESA comment just really drives the point home. This is a person who cannot be bothered to consider how their behavior affects others, only how things affect them. The neighbors are furious with us. They have been camped outside all day with signs calling us bad neighbors and dog nappers. According to our neighbor across the street they have started a fundraiser for a new puppy and are going to the local media. OMG they're ridiculous. If the news gets involved send them the footage of the dog trying to get at your cat and knocking a girl over. At best they're just going to reveal their irresponsible owners who are trying to blame everyone but themselves for having to deal with consequences, as irresponsible owners so often do. Not the asshole. Not the asshole these people were given ample warning to rectify the situation. You were kind and considerate and communicated effectively. Their own negligence resulted in the consequences they now face. Additionally, as it seems you have a ring or other recording doorbell, I would involve the police for their harassment of you. That way it is documented should they attempt to retaliate in any manner. Side note, as others have pointed out, the dog's behavior indicates he is untrained much less a service animal emotional support dog. Not the asshole. They are horrible dog owners. They shouldn't even have a dog if they can't properly walk it. I've been attacked by a dog when it got loose so stories like these make me so mad. Not the asshole they had ample opportunity to put a leash on the dog. I am curious about your catio though if you ever feel inclined to post a photo. Not the asshole. The moment that dog is on your property, your neighbors are completely in the wrong and are liable for any damage he does. This demand that you keep your cat inside at that time is ridiculous. 
you've tried to be reasonable, they would not listen. Now it's a matter for the authorities. Fuck your neighbor. You absolutely did the right thing. People like that are the reason dogs male kids and why there are so many animals in the shelter. They should be banned from every owning animals again. You are not in the wrong here. Not the asshole you have to protect your animal. You asked them nicely but some people aren't responsible enough to own pets. Not the asshole. Call the police immediately and report the harassment by the neighbors. Be sure to show them the paperwork from animal control and your video surveillance camera. In preparation for contact by local media, consult an attorney and let him or her do the talking for you. You can easily be painted the villains by media without regard to the facts. You should also ask the attorney about getting a restraining order against your neighbors. Act now. Not the asshole. You asked them to put the dog on a leash in a place where there are leash laws and they didn't do it. They are being incredibly rude to you and your neighbors, and it's about more than just the cat. If the dog is so important to them, they should follow the leash laws and not try so hard to piss off their neighbors. I hope for her son's sake that he gets the dog back and they actually start leashing it. And picking up its damn poop. Not the asshole. Just leash your dog, it's not fucking hard. Definitely not the asshole. Those people are crappy dog owners. Not the asshole you gave them a chance to do the right thing. This is 100% their fault. Also these people sound really entitled so they might try and mess your house, cars or cat to get payback. It might be worth it to get more cameras ready. Not the asshole and their liars. Not the asshole. An actual therapy animal is highly trained and is never off leash unless in a fenced area. Not the asshole. Leash laws are there for a reason. They protect my dog from your loose dog and vice versa. My dog was attacked by two loose dogs and a neighbor's puppy was killed in front of their young children by a loose dog. Dogs have to be on a leash and under control at all times.